Houston Texans fans, it's that time again. Mm-hmm. Week six, Texans versus Nola, the Saints. Um, yeah. Quick injury report. Um, full participants were Javier Thomas, Denzel Perryman, Shaq Mason, Josh Jones, Titus Howard, Shaquille Griffin, George Fant, Malik Collins, Blake Cashman, and Noah Brown. No Christian Harris? What the fuck? Uh, Robert Woods, Lermy Tunso, and Christian Harris all were limited. On okay, Thursday. good. That's then, better than nothing. And then Tank Dell, was, of course, did not practice because of concussion, so it more than likely seems he'll be out this week. But that's okay. Yes. Because you know what time it is. Michi time. Time to unleash the Michi. It's Michi last time. <laughs> Crazy. Going, uh, looking at the team as a whole, I mean, we can focus on the offensive side first. Um, so Tank Dell's out. That, of course, is going to freak a lot of fans out. But like y'all stated, it's Michi, next man up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It seems like the team has been doing uh, as a whole already. Um, I know when it comes to the running game, uh, Dan Brown said, or not Dan Brown, uh, Miko Ryan's, ooh, got ashes on the brain. D'Amico Ryan said that their goal is to st- get the running game going. They need mm-hmm. to change a few things up. Uh, Slovic talked about it all as well. What does that mean? Give Singletary more snaps? I'm thinking that's what that, I would do. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe, that's sing- maybe Singletary more snaps. And then I know it's not really run game still, but I kind of want to see him hit some more screen passes because I am a little bit scared of the deep threat over there. But, no, I'm not disagreeing with that. We don't have the talent for that. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm you saying. You don't have like, the whole line to pull that shit off. Exactly. That's, That's like what I'm telling saying. me you want me to go dunk on somebody. Yeah, I think you could on a midget, bro. Yeah, on a midget, but yeah. shit, that don't count. Yeah. Uh, I just – Honey Badger is going to be looking for any pick he can, I'm sure. And, yeah. I just I want CJ to not throw a pick as long as he possibly can. CJ, of course, is in line for more history and accolades, which what what he did. Hmm? What, what hasn't doing? he done? Oh, so with 294 passing yards in this game, Stroud will move into the top five for most passing yards ever by a player in his first six career games. A lot of yards. It is a lot of yards. It's also bullshit to me. Like I don't care about that. Not not to be like contradictory, but it's like you can't run the ball. That's if we were to run the ball, you wouldn't be passing like that. Yeah. And if we run the ball, it'd be easier to win. Yes. Man. But if you can't run the ball, somebody gotta do something out there. I get nervous about their D line. Their D line is pretty freaking good. Um they have a pretty good defense. Um, I guess going into our defense, it looks like most of the guys are healthy coming back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, you have you know a few that were still out on IR. Those don't, but the ones that were pretty much missed last game, they look to be coming back. They look like they're ready. Um, is there anybody you're looking at that I guess makes a a key difference in uh, for good or for bad? We'll go with good first. Then. For good, Christian Harris. Because That's he's so it. fast, he could guard Kamara ones. Yeah. For bad, Jalen Petrie. They're going to do what Atlanta did. They're going to use your aggression against you. Yeah. They're going to try to get Kamara going, and then Shahid and Olave is going to try to get on top. That's what but they're going to do. Does having Shaquille Griffin and Tavier Thomas back help in any? Oh, yeah, that helps. Because you don't have to play as much zone defense as we did last week. You could play. He'll, he trusts those guys to play one. That was the issue last week. Is we made Ritter beat us, and when you didn't have confidence in the safe, the corners we had, then you stayed in the zone defense and he shredded it. Now you can change the look. You could disguise shit. Yeah. I mean, you get a lot of your Blake Cashman, Malik Collins. Like, you're getting some very good Denzel Perryman. I know you weren't too happy with his last game, but you get depth. You get <laughs> <there>. <laughs> um, the exactly. O-line is getting healthier. Um, George Fant coming back. Titus Howard, of course, is good. Josh De- Jones is good. Shaq Mason's good. Noah Brown's 
it looks like he's going to be coming back, which is really great at blocking. Robert yeah. Wood seems yeah. to with the rib. We'll see if he plays. He's a little older, so we'll see what happens. But I mean, all in all, it seems like the biggest names on here is like you said, Christian Harris. The way you beat the Saints is you be more aggressive than them. Fucking Derek Carr is hurt. Be more aggressive. Put him on his ass. Make him feel you. And then we'll see what happens. Yep. But don't come out there and be, I mean, for lack of better words, defensive. Don't try to, like, change what you're doing to stop what he's trying to do when I just want to hit you really hard and do it early. And then I want you to not want to pass the ball. Yeah. Yeah, they That's they do. they need to – I mean, we all know his favorite target's going to be Kamara. Mm -hmm. Then it's going to be Olave and Michael Thomas and Rashid Shahid. Um, the thing is, though, with a defense pretty much, I don't want to say fully healthy, but healthy enough of what we didn't see in Atlanta, I kind of feel confident going into this game. Yeah, I feel confident because of what we've done before when we were healthy. Mm -hmm. But if yeah. you fucking do good against this team on defense, then they have to recognize us for what we are. Like we're we're that we're the shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're probably not San Francisco or Philly, but we're pretty fucking good. Yeah. Oh All right. yeah, no doubt. Question for both of y'all. Mm -hmm. We all got Texans by Look, a field goal. I'm kind of in that ballpark too. I always go Texans by five. I'll go Texans by five. Okay. I'll go Texans by seven. I don't know how it's going to be, but. Okay. I think CJ runs the, the clock right this time. No, I think Slowick gets his shit together. I, th I thought he called a bad game last week. I really did. Maybe he'll do better. Maybe we'll just use their aggression against them and see what happens. Yeah, everybody's predicting us to get our, our behinds kicked. Um, they're predicting CJ throws first interception or two interceptions or three interceptions. Each. Yeah, but their linebackers are kind of good, and their D-line is really good, which means mm -hmm. Schultz would probably have to help pass protect more, which means yeah. Nico Collins gets open. Yep. And that's when we're moving the ball. Yeah. Chains yep. are moving. Chains are moving. Uh, all right, Texans fans, this was a quick one. Ain't much to talk about. It's week six. Right, this is our last game before the bye. So we'll see what happens. Team's getting healthier. Please, no injuries, football fans. Yeah, please, enough yeah. with our players. We've seen it enough with the Astros and with the Texans. I right, stay away from my Rockets as well. Um, yeah. But that being said, Houston, make sure you like, subscribe down below. For all your Texans content, we got you covered on week six, week seven, week eight, all the fun stuff. CJ Stroud, everybody. Um, Y'all be safe. Have a good weekend. We're out of here. Later. Later. How much I'm working for this? I swear my dreams are too important.